So in this example, we're going to deal with a parallel resistor. How do you do parallel resistors? Okay. So parallel basically means it branches out, and they're like train tracks. So if I drop this, you know, these are like train tracks, right? If I'm here, they're like train tracks. So they're parallel. They never intersect each other, right? They, they come at a node, but these resistors do not align with each other. It's a parallel, okay? So what we want to discuss is how to recognize a parallel. Well, students have a hard time with this, so we're going to show you how this works. In a parallel resistor, right it looks something like this right does clearly does this image look closer to this or this well obviously it looks closer to this the only problem is you can only have one resistor so it's got to be one for one one for one how does this work well these two reflect the outside so you work from there outside in okay you want to work from this direction Okay, not from this direction, but this direction. So let's get started, okay? So here, we can just start with the outside resistors. Here. And we can say this is R parallel. And we're just gonna call this RP1, okay? And that's simply equation, if we look at our equation, is RP is equal to R1, R2, R1 plus R2 times R, R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. So we just write this down. R2, R3, R2 plus R3. We simply put in the values, just like that. So it's 30 times 5 over 30 plus 5, right? Which is what? 150 over 35. What is 150 over 35? No one needs to do math in your head. You pull out your calculator. 150 divided by 35, which is 4.29. So 4.29 ohms, okay? Now, we want to reduce it again. So this, this one right here becomes one resistor. How do we write this parallel resistor? We rewrite it in this form. Write it in this form. And the form is, Here, here. We write the whole thing just like that. This is R1. It's kind of scrunched up here, but you know. This is VS. So VS is here. R1 is here. But what is this? This is RP1. And we're going to just draw it this way. And hit RP1. This is now here. This value, RP1. Then what do we do? Well, we got another parallel. We got to get everything down to one resistor. Now, please invest in an eraser, right? Eraser is your best friend, right? Pencil and eraser, do not do these in a pen, okay? So what do we do? We redraw the circuit again. Now the circuit will go down to one resistor. So here, what does it look like? Does it look like series or parallel? Well, clearly it's not this. So it looks exactly like this, and now we're here. So we just rewrite it. Take this, and we'll call this RP2, which is R1 times RP1, R1 plus RP1, which is RP2, which is R1, which is 20, so 20 goes here. RP1, which is 4.29. Twenty plus four point two nine, which is R P two, is equal to what? It's equal to clear four point two nine uh, times twenty equals that 
divided by 24.29, right? 24.29. Okay, hold on, let's do that again. Okay, 20 times 4.29 is, oh, this is just going crazy. 20 times 4.29 is 85.8. And the bottom is 20, 24.29, right? What's the result? 3.5. So you would rewrite, draw the circuit, just like so, right? kind of write diagonal because I'm right-handed. It's really hard for me to write straight like this. Right? This I is this I right here, which is the same I up here. Okay, here, here, and here. Not here, but here. It's very important. And this is our RP2, just like that. So when we solve for I, we simply says V and I'm going to draw a line here, just kind of separate everything out, right? We understand this is my RP2, which is the same value here. V is equal to IR. I is V over R, uh, which is what? VS over RP2, right? Which is what? Uh, VS is 10, and RP2 is 3.53. So 10 over 3.53. 3, I is what? I take 10, divided by 3.53, I get 2.83 amps.